today's food for thought comes from the 11th chapter of Acts, verse 17, which reads, If therefore God gave them the same gift as he gave us when we believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could withstand God? In this scripture, Peter had just finished preaching to Cornelius, a Roman centurion, whose house, after receiving the word of God from Peter, they accepted Christ as their savior. That was a very joyous occasion for both those that were of that house that accepted Christ as their savior and for Peter as well. In fact, it was during that occasion where Peter learned a valuable lesson that the word of God is not meant just for the Jews, it is meant for everyone. Now, here in the 11th chapter of Acts, we see that there were those who were of the faith that were Jews, they followed in the way of Christ, but they needed to learn this lesson as well. Peter, he was questioned about entering into the home of uncircumcised people. Those that questioned Peter believed as he once did when it came to entering into the home of a Gentile it was not supposed to be done because Gentiles, they were seen as sinners. Gentile believers, I want you to understand that they initially had it very rough with Jewish believers as the Jewish believer felt that the Gentile believers weren't worthy of the word of God because of their sinful history. However, there's a problem here. And that problem was that God desires for all people to receive his word and to be saved. This is why the Lord gave the world his only begotten son. Let us remember, Jesus, he sat down with sinners. Let us remember, Jesus, he even ate with sinners himself. So who is anyone to question God about his desires? Who are we to question God and his will? Many people, they often try to dictate their own will over God's will. Which do you think is more important? Don't ever let anyone or anything hinder nor keep you from doing the will of God. Peter, he was led by the Holy Spirit of God, which is the same spirit that leads and guides all of us today. Regardless of what others say you should do, I want you to be encouraged today to walk by faith, walk by the spirit. You will never be led astray when you heed the words of the spirit.